Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another Rainbow Six Siege Operator Guide. In this video, we'll be going over Kali, the latest attacker in Siege hailing from the Night Haven CTU. She can wield the CSRX 300 sniper rifle as her primary weapon, and either the C75 machine pistol or the P226 handgun as her secondary weapon. As for her gadget, she can use either bracing charges or a claymore. But before we continue with the video, please take a moment to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out and I really appreciate it, plus you'll always have some Siege videos to watch. It's a win-win. Now let the video begin! Starting off with her primary weapon, she can use the special CSRX 300 bolt action sniper rifle. Now this rifle has a lot of uniqueness. For starters, it will instantly down an enemy if shot in the torso. Leg and arm shots do a lot of damage, I think they do 50 damage. Headshots kill, but chest shots will instantly down the enemy and spin them to face you. So they'll be able to easily call out your position. And next, whenever you shoot, the sniper rifle is a bright white bullet trail. So once again, enemies will be able to know your location very easily. So if you miss a shot, not only is it extremely loud, but you have that trail. So they'll just be able to find you. And if you do shoot someone down them, they'll also be able to find you. So this weapon is very, very powerful, but it does give the enemy a lot of intel when you're actually using it. One of the more unique things that the CSRX can do is actually knock away class's shield. As you can see, if you shoot her shield, it acts like you smacked it away with a melee attack. So you can either knock her shield away for a teammate, so they can follow up and kill her, but if you're fast enough and you have a good angle, you can actually shoot her in the leg for about 50 damage. So yeah, you can actually counter clash with the sniper rifle, which is something I don't think anyone expected, but uh, I'm glad I discovered this and figured it out. In addition to that, it can penetrate up to 5 surfaces, meaning soft walls and operators. So you can snipe someone through multiple walls and multiple enemies. And when you do penetrate a wall, it creates a decently sized hole in it. Not like a, like a huge hole, but like a little bit bigger than a murder hole, like right in the middle. Next, with one shot, it can destroy hatches and wooden barricades, giving it some nice utility. Now this, sh I should also note here that uh, you cannot penetrate like the, um, the wooden barricades and hatches if it's like on a second penetration. Like it has to be the first thing it penetrates through. Like if you try to shoot a wooden barricade through a wall, it's just gonna just like act like a normal bullet. So yeah. It has to be the first shot. It also has a six round magazine, which sounds small, but this weapon can one shot down enemies and has massive penetration. So in my mind, it equals out. And finally, it has a five times or 12 times variable zoom scope. So you can switch your zoom for longer or shorter distances. Now that we know what the CSRX is and the things it can do, how can we use it effectively? The most important thing to remember is that this is a bolt action sniper rifle, meaning you're not gonna be effective in close quarters. If you try to rush with this thing or bring it into CQB, you're going to get mowed down by something meant for that range, like a shotgun or an SMG. You're going to need to keep your distance. You want to stay far enough where the enemies will have a hard time getting a shot on you before you get one on them, but not so far that you can't be effective like for the objective and stuff. Also, remember it can penetrate a lot. If your team marks an enemy through a few walls, don't be afraid to shoot through it. You might hit them and get a killer down, but if you miss, you create a series of giant holes in the walls. This makes lining up a follow-up shot easier, and you can help your teammates get eyes on the enemy as well. After securing a kill or getting it down, you can do three different things. You can either continue to hold the angle, relocate and continue sniping, or stay in the same spot and ambush anyone coming after you. Depending on the room you're in, it might be better to continue holding your angle. This can lead to another kill, and you can take out anyone going to revive the defender you just downed. If you're in a room with too many entrances or you just don't feel comfortable in that room, or you don't know where the enemy roamers are, you might just want to relocate. Any callouts the defender made will now be useless, and they'll have to find you all over again. Finally, you can send ambush. If you hear anyone coming after you, or the, your team has spotted the roamers near you, you can lay down your claymore and bring out your secondary and wait for them, and take them out whenever they come after you. Most of the time, they probably won't be expecting it because they'll just think you're trying to hold your angle and continue sniping, so you'll be able to catch them by surprise. Like, I've whipped on a few Cavieras, like, already, and it's only been out for, like, a week. To summarize all that, keep your distance to prevent getting rushed by a better weapon. If you are rushed, switch to your secondary because the sniper is not great in close quarters. Relocate after a successful shot or kill to prevent being flanked. If you're confident and you know no one is near you, hold the angle and try to get some follow-up kills. Or you can set up an ambush and take the enemy roamers by surprise whenever they come after you. Just practice your aim, don't be afraid to penetrate through walls to get kills, and you'll be a godlike collie in no time. 
Next up, we have our secondary weapons. Take the C75 machine pistol if you want a fully auto secondary, and if you can control its recoil. In the right hands, this thing is deadly and perfectly complements the CSRX. The P226 is your standard handgun that comes in handy whenever you need it. You just spam fire and aim for the head. Either way, both these weapons are pretty good, and which one you choose is really just up to your personal preference, so just pick whichever one you prefer using and are better with. As for her secondary gadgets, you can take either breaching charges or a claymore. Use the breaching charges for more breaching options, or use the claymore to cover your flanks. The choice is up to you. Now for the most exciting part of any new operator, well usually any new operator, this one is, you know, the sniper rifle is pretty good. But uh, anyways, we have our special ability. Kali comes with the LV Explosive Lance. This underbarrel launched lance digs into reinforced or soft surfaces and detonates after a short time. On reinforced surfaces, it will destroy any gadget surrounding it or attach to the reinforcement. On soft surfaces, it will do the same thing, but it will create a small hole as well. As with any ability, there are a few important things to note. For starters, Kali only has three lances. Now this is typically enough to clear gadgets off of reinforcements for your team, but you should still pay attention to when and where you use them. Next, they are caught and destroyed by Wamai's magnets and Jaeger's ADSs. Other than that, the defenders can still shoot the tail of the lance. Now that's the end facing you when you fire it, so if you're shooting into objective, they'll actually have to run out and come to the other side, which they typically won't do, but they still can shoot it. Now the lance can also be used to take out other stationary gadgets, such as maestro cameras, bulletproof cameras, and deployable shields. So you can use them to shut down other gadgets and take away cover from the defenders, in addition to just denying all the gadgets they have. Using her lances is pretty simple. If you see a wall or a hatch that's being shocked, if you notice they have a mute or a capcon, just fire your lance at that reinforcement. This will get rid of any of those gadgets and set the surface up to be destroyed by the hard breachers on your team. Basically, use her lance like you would a Thatcher EMP grenade. They basically do the same thing. The last thing I'll say is to destroy deployable shields with your lances, if your teammates haven't already. This can easily root out any of the operators that like to hide, but it can also safely take out Goyo shields for your team. So use your lances to clear gadgets and you'll be good to go. Now that we know how to use Kali, let's get to the combos and counters. Starting off with the combos. Now Kali is a gadget denier, meaning she clears reinforcements for your team's hard breachers. So of course she combos well with Thermite and Habana. Let she just uses her javelin on a reinforcement, then they can use their gadgets. Other than that, Kali can be useful with her sniper rifle. She can down and call out enemies and hold angles while the team is planting. So she combos well with hard breachers of course, but she can be pretty good in any kind of team comp. As for the counters, she has two. Jaeger's ADSs and Wamai's magnets can shoot and catch her javelins in the air, shutting down all of her gadget denying potential. Other than that, any defender can just shoot the tail of the javelin. That's gonna be it for this video, I wanna hear from you all. Do you like Kali? Is she your newest main? And how effective do you think she'll be in ranked? I don't know, so let me know down in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more amazing Rainbow Six Siege content. I'm the Battle Moon and I will see you in the next Siege.